This isn't how I planned on starting this video. Welcome back. I'm in Svolvar, um, at Otto Mester garage. I'm at a garage, a workshop. I turned the van on today after, well, so yesterday I was working, um, I turned the engine on for about half an hour twice, just because I was using a load of power. There's no solar. So I turned the engine on to top up the house batteries twice. Uh, and everything was fine. And then today, the weather was boring. So I did a bit more work in the morning. And at midday, I went to turn on, well, that's when the sun comes up. I went to turn on the van and it started fine. But then um, after about a minute, I got lights on the dash. And it said, uh, battery issue and then it every light came on the traction control ABS SRS ESP everything you can think of lit up and started beeping and so I disconnected everything in the front I turned off everything I pulled all the plugs out in the front so that nothing was pulling power apart from the van using its you know using the power itself I checked the voltage and it was 8.9 and so I thought oh no this is terrible so I <laughs> the the best way to charge a vehicle is by driving it so I drove um, 20 kilometers from where I was to Svolvar and it dropped to 7.7 .7 in that time which is terrible terrible it should be 12.3 at least um, so I drove to a garage it's Sunday so the garage isn't open it's here and I'm going to stay here tonight and at 8 o'clock in the morning when they open uh, I'll go in to see what the problem is I think it's an alternator problem I phoned Pete, the mechanic he also thinks it's an alternator problem um, an alternator in the UK is about £160 just for the alternator, not for the labour but this isn't the best economic area to be for stuff like this Norwegian prices could be anything so See what happens tomorrow. Yeah. So they're fully booked for two weeks. For two weeks. They said they're going to have a little look and see if they can figure something out and to ask again at lunchtime. So it's eight, it's ten past eight. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Packing the van, not the whole van. Packing about four bags to take everything valuable. It's Monday and they can fix the van for a thousand pounds on Friday. Far from ideal. But, uh, all right, what else do I need? Keys are handed over and Odpet has kindly offered to come and take me to Svenoya Orbit which is where I'm going to be spending the next few days while the van is fixed. Speaking of Odpeta, there he is. Hi.
Northern Lights are looking good but limited like good strength but limited because the oval keeps growing and collapsing there's a lot of energy up there um, and the stretch of the magnetism looks like there'll be pillars but not so many arcs that's what it looks like at the moment it's dark, the moon's up the um, aurora forecast is looking good the weather forecast at the moment is fine it's clear, it's going to be clear for a couple more hours it's time after relaxing on the sofa and feeling sorry for myself because of the van it's time to go out so one camera, two camera, three cameras Where's the other one? Four camera. Where's the other camera? Ah, charging. Four cameras. Um, I might take the drone as well. Anyway, it's time to go. Odd Petter is on his way. He's going to pick me up. We're going to go on an adventure uh, in Lofoten this evening and see what kind of northern light shots we can get. It's going to be awesome. I'm also going to be filming Odd Petter to make him a little promotional video. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Sky's looking good. Let's get out of here and go see what we can find. Don't get too excited and run on the ice. It's not going to be a smart move. It's looking good, looking clear. Yep. Ah, oh, you got the peak design. Yeah, yeah. I bought when I asked Dr. Brown what he did use for the mobile. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to get some experimental S22, Samsung S22 shots. Yeah. Let's see what it does at night. I just see the cloud. Or not. There, there's very weak northern lights. You have to be very super weak, yeah. We have pillars right there. And Odd Peter is looking for a cake. Did you say huh? cake? Do I have some cake? A cake to eat. Food. Tape. Tape. <laughs> Tape. <laughs> Oh. Right, you see these pillars up here? Yeah, 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 what the fuck? Right, we're getting more and more, the rest of the sky is clear. Yeah, just a few clouds here and there. But we're on. Wow, look at that pillar! Holy shit! Is it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right between the clouds. Oh, it's a big pillar. The, the clouds look like a big mouth with teeth on yes, the bottom. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what? Oh, no, no, it's not a pillar, man. It's a. It's a, it's a pillar. What no, are you, no, no, no. What are you talking about? It's a, It's curtains. It's a pillar. No. Nothing, not nothing, but 
nothing enough. So, uh, back at Svinuya. It's about midnight. Warbu. Looking beautiful. I'm gonna go and find mine, which is down here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow because it was meant to be cloudy tonight, and it's not. There are clouds, but it's not cloudy. Um, so hopefully the same thing happens tomorrow. And hopefully we get some northern lights. But uh, for now, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which sucks. Right, I've got loads of stuff to do. I've got a magazine article to write. 3,000 to 4,000 words, somewhere in that region. A couple of invoices to send. A couple of other bits and pieces to write. So here I am, back at number 24. Nothing. There is nothing. Well, nothing except that. I'm not changing the ISO. You're not going to believe this. We've just literally just come in. I haven't even put the tripod in yet. Look. Wow. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I, I, I called on Peter quickly because he needs to see this. I think he's coming back. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Odd bed just driving over there going beep, 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 beep. Whoa! Let's get the other cameras ready. Whoa! What have we got? Can you hear him? He's over there by his car getting his pictures. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Nothing, and now here, as soon as I come back, here they are. <laughs> And then I was not so sure that he was finished with us, so uh, so you stayed close. I jumped into the, the to start door. I bought a full dinner, chocolate, crisp, yeah. potato chips, everything I needed. Oh my god! And then when I just drive out of the start door, you called me. You're really exploding yourself. Really nice. And I just now. Nah, wow. And then back. <laughs> that is fucked up. This is really fantastic. Uh, easy come, easy go, I guess. That was awesome. We've still got some stuff hanging around. We've got these herringbone clouds as well. Beautiful. Hmm. Check the uh, halo around the moon.
go, 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 friends with this Norwegian forest cat. It's so fluffy. Oh, we are moonlight. We are moon. All their aurora is. Where is it? Amazing, 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 amazing. It's wow. kind of hiding. Really There's amazing. cloud in the way. It's so icy on the roads here now. That's... Oh, that's yes. odd, Peter. Oh, yes. There he is. Here he comes. Yeah, David, I am outside your cabin now. <laughs> that was so fantastic, huh? Yeah, Where's it going? Yeah, it's gone, but we're going to move a little bit outside this. Yeah, the energy is still there, so hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully yeah, it stays. The whole hour since the afternoon. But it was uh, cloudy, but uh, when we drove from the hospital this afternoon, we had clear sky in the whole Borg area. Yeah. 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 With stars and everything, and we came home here and it was pretty cloudy. But I did see that on the weather forecast that we could have something in the south, south, way, uh, east here. So, where are we gonna go? Any flight? No. Where? I don't know yet. Just have to check it. I think the best place is to go east. I uh, wonder if they have a 55 here. It might be. There was a sort of flag yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it, it, I see some Aurora there, I'm not going to be such a... Woo! Yeah! Holy fucking shit! <laughs> cranked up so much so that you can see that there's a tiny tinge of green above the crook in the mountain but other than that this is what it really looks like just nothing 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 so we've given up it's 11 o'clock we're done
So we've got a storm clearing and the most incredible northern lights filling the whole sky. This is a G1 storm. This is crazy. Right, let's get some focus on something really far. There we go. Crazy good. Five pillars. Yeah, do that. That's a good picture. Go stand there. Do you want No, no, no. Oh, he don't need I got loads. <laughs> pillars forming all around us all around us that's gonna be a good picture it's tough to get that camera on a time-lapse but look at this and there and if that connects that will be incredible so that's north I think I'm gonna shut up watch this oh this trucks gonna ruin my time-lapse <laughs> Oh, Peter, tell that truck to turn his lights off. Yeah. Turn off your lights, stop the truck. It's not allowed to use light in front of my camera. It's going to mess up my time lapse. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was going to bring the 360 camera tonight, and I thought, no, there's not going to be a big enough hole. I should have bought it. Whoa, here we go. The dancing's beginning. I think we're gonna. It's all kicking off in there. Oh, already. Holy fucking shit. That's amazing. Little bit back and that can take a photo with you. Come here. Come here. Roll a little bit that, uh, that's fantastic. Wow. Just have to set the camera a little bit first. You need to use a little bit light, David. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. That is insane! Oh, we need to get in here. Wow! That's what I was pointing at. Wow! And there's ten eagles in here. <laughs> oh, the damn fucking lights. Holy shit, look at that! Whoa! Wow. That's south! Oh my god, that is south, yes. <laughs> These are the northern wow. lights in the south.
Yes! Whoa! Look at the color! Oh my god! I can't get out! No, you put it in the back. Whoa! Oh my god! She! Hot feather! Look at the color up here! Look at this! Oh my god! Whoa! Get your tripod as well. weather moved in and we're trying to find uh, somewhere clear and I said as a joke I said let's go to the ghost house and if you remember from last year I explained the story but Oddpeter is going to explain it better. Oddpeter? Yeah so we have uh, been asking uh, the, the government by the roads if they can clean the stop outside the house 
And if they have done it now when we come up here, we're going out of the car and into the ghost house. I don't want to go into the ghost uh, house. Maybe Look, shoot you... uh, the northern light through the windows. No, thank from you. Inside. Can you explain the, why it's a ghost house? It's a real ghost house. It's a uh, true history from the late of the 1970s. There was a family lived there and uh, suddenly one day the man went crazy and he came home from work and his wife was standing in the kitchen making dinner and he take his first one and a half year old child up in the uh, in the third floor and he took the axe and cut off the feet and the arms and the head uh, without the wife notice it and then he go down in the living room and take off his two and a half year old boy and did the same way to cut off the heads feet and arms and when he was finished with them, I put them in the coffin. He going down in the stairs, and the stairs are just straight into the kitchen. And the, the wife standing with the back against the, the stairs and cooking food for the man. And he throw the axe in the back of uh, his wife. And then he dragged her up in the third floor and did the same. The head, feet, and arms. I put it in the coffin, and after that, he went to the second room in the third floor and he hung himself. And uh, when the police was finished with uh, investigating, the relatives got back to the house. When they came in here, they uh, fixed the house and they sold it. And a new family moved in. And they say that after a few weeks that this is fucked up. It's actually... Uh, somebody in the house 24 7 without they can see it they can fly things in the air they feel the cold cold breeze in the neck uh, while they are in the kitchen and in the third floor and they sold the house without telling the next family about this history and the next family moved in and they was only living there for a few weeks before they left all the furniture, everything inside the house, and they, they left the house. And they, we have tried to have priest, medium inside the house to try to clean the house for uh, the evil things, but they have not been able. Even if they use dynamite to, to, to explode under the ground here on this house, it will not be able to take away the evil things. And here is the house, but they have not cleaned the stop for us, so you are lucky, David. Uh, then we have the red house in the hang, island. Hang on a minute. On this house, you you told me last time that you, and was it you and Steven? Yeah. What happened? We was in the midnight sun, we was uh, stopping here because we had a fantastic midnight sun from north. And he was standing up and took northern light, nay, the sun, midnight sun photo. I went down on the lower side of the house, between the house and, and the lake, and I could just feel the cold breeze in my neck, and it was almost someone taking in my shoulder, and I just screamed to Steven that you need to stay calm and don't go in the car, I don't want to be alone outside here until I'm up with the car, and we drove away from there. And the house in the the, hut, the red hut in the island in the lake here is the same owner and uh, sometimes by night time when we are out here in the west and we drive home between 2 to 5 a.m. in the morning we can see sometimes a light walk around the house on the lake in the middle of the night and we have been stopping we have gone down with our guests we have been screaming, do you need help? Uh, is it anyone there? But nobody answer you. You just see the light walking around. What? And we had here for two years ago in the winter, we was throwing from uh, West Lofoten and home after a fantastic North night evening. And suddenly one of the girls here was just start screaming loud. And I say, what the fuck is going on? See the lights going there. It's a light there, there's people there. And we stopped and go and check it, but nothing. But the lights was there. That's fucked up. Yeah. So last year, when I tried to tell the story, my and I, I stopped at the house in the daytime. My camera wouldn't turn on. I couldn't. I couldn't 
turn the camera on to film. The battery was full. Yeah. And then I drove away, and then I was able to turn the camera on. I remember that. Fuck. Yeah. What? No, thank you. No, thank you. It's so bad weather here in West. We just have yeah, to this isn't good. Let's go back east. Yeah. Let's see if we can find some more aurora. This is the house. And this corner here is the kitchen. And they're going stairs up there. And there was the wife standing making dinner. And he just come down there in the stairs and throw the axe in the back of his wife. While she making dinner. The first time I came here I saw this house and I thought that's weird. That's prime position. Yeah. Middle of Lofoten. Someone surely must want to buy it. And now I know why. And David... Because uh, look, there's a nice house, there's a nice house. Yeah. David, uh, when you came back this year, you when we drove here, you say, what the fuck, the house is still like that? Yeah. And I say, yeah, nobody wants to buy it, nobody wants to build it, you can't do anything about it. So therefore, it's standing like that. It will never be built, I think. And down here on the right side, we have the lake and the red house on the island. Tomorrow, when you take the bus to west, you will see this island. When you drive west, you will have the island uh, and the lake on your left side. And, and you, also the, the house you also have on the left side on the bus. So you said, the priest said, that you blow up a mountain and crush it with a mountain, it still wouldn't clean it. Yeah, they have been asking, they have been using medium here and priest and other uh, things and they say that even if you use dynamite and try to explode the ground of the house it still will be back here if they cannot remove it and even the medium have not been able to remove the ghost the negative uh, energy here and is it just him or are they all there just him all oh, what the whole family yeah wow fucked up so anyway. I heard in the 80s that uh, people told me that they have heard crying babies in the third floor. Holy shit, where did that come from? Finished. Completo. Still beautiful. Everywhere. Everywhere. Right, back to the cabin. Past all these bright lights that are throwing off the exposure. Boom, there they are. Beautiful. What a way to end the night. Clouds all the way over in the west. But then right there, over my cabin. Beautiful. Good night. I'm back <clears throat> at the garage. This is where the van sat all week. And now they've got it in and they're switching out the alternator. Hopefully that's what the problem is. Well, hopefully it's something cheaper, but hopefully it's nothing more than that. I don't think it is, it should be fine. Um, it'll be ready in about half an hour. So I'm having a coffee and waiting for the cold. This is my Friday, happy Friday.
this week here in Svinoya Robert. I think we're done. Look at that. Yep, it snowed. Whoa! What a beautiful place. Beautiful scenery, beautiful snow. And beautiful clear sky. Very important. So, I'm going to finish taking the photos here at Svinoya. I've still got a couple more days, but I'm going to use those days for me, not for video. And, uh, wow, absolutely stunning. Um, out on the rocks, I've seen a few fish eagles or sea eagles. And uh, <laughs> this place is just magical. 160 year old cabin. 160. Can you believe it? So, this week has been a bit all over the place. Um, about a thousand pounds later, the van is fixed, or about, what, $1,300? The van is fixed. Brand new alternator. Um, would have been about a third of the price in the UK. But, you know, I'm in the middle of nowhere. It was my stupid choice. So, keep an eye on this webcam right here. Um, if you look on YouTube for uh, Aurora Webcam Live, one of them will be Lofoten or Norway Webcam number 13. This is it. Um, so you'll see what happens in those skies. And, just like I've been doing, oh, it's snowing up, you can see it's snowing up there. This is so beautiful. Uh, just like I've been doing, remember, to once in a lifetime as often as you can. I hope you enjoyed this week. I hope you enjoyed the northern lights, the explosion, the uh, drama with the van, the ghost, the ghost story from Odd Petter. And of course, Sven Oyerovet. We're going to be back here again in a few weeks. Rocky and Russell are coming over and this is where we're going to stay. We're going to stay in one of the XL cabins over on the other side, the brand new ones. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Please, if you did like this video, there's a button specifically for that and uh, if you have something to say please do thank you very much see you later